cannot own a house in USA. So most people they buy the houses uh, on average the houses depending on the states uh, they cost you know from 200,000 upwards uh, and by saying this it's a house in a, in a nice neighborhood you know uh, con with a lot of conveniences uh, it can go up to millions of dollars uh, you can also get a hundred thousand house or even forty thousand if it's on auction but so people pay because not everybody almost more than 90 percent of the houses are bought via mortgage it's not too many people who have uh, a lot of money at their exposure so they have to use a bank in order to purchase a house and those houses uh, you spend depending on how, on the agreement with uh, with the lender uh, you spend almost 30 years or even 15 years paying for the house so you don't own that house so if you some, if you see somebody who has a house they say they just bought a house uh, mostly they love calling themselves homeowners they don't really own that house because they are making payment true ownership is when you own something and you don't pay for it it's yours so that house those houses they're still paying for them for 30 years uh if for some reason uh they are unable to pay for the house the mortgage and uh you also have to remember uh when they are paying for the houses they are also paying for the property taxes and the property taxes are dependent upon the location and the value of the house. In some places, the property tax can be really high. So uh, they are still paying for it. So they don't own the house. They just own the rights to live in that house. So let's, let's uh, fast forward 30 years and they have already finished paying the house so the, let's say the house costed them four hundred thousand maybe after 30 years they they will have paid close to six hundred thousand uh once they finish paying off the house now they start being renters because they are going to still continue paying the property taxes on the house and mind you because it's 30 years ahead, the property taxes when they bought the houses might have been less. Now, 30 years ahead because, you know, houses, they appreciate in values over the years. So the property taxes is going to be higher. So they are, they are done with the mortgage. Now they become renters. Okay, so if you are unable to pay within those 30 years when you're making the payments if you lose your job they are going to f and you are unable to make the payments for a period of time i think they give you a grace period of six months the mortgage the lender the bank is gonna foreclose on your house you're going to lose your house so it's gone you can't make the payment maybe you lose the job or you know you get sick you can't work anymore guess what or you go through a divorce guess what you're going to lose that house because you can no longer make the payments that's one case the other case is you're done paying for the house 30 years it's yours but you only own the rights to that house uh, in fact you don't even own the land the house stands on uh, that land is owned by the government so let's say uh, they find gold in your backyard guess what the government is gonna say that's government property so you don't own the land you just own the rights if they decide they want to build a highway uh, 
you know, cutting across your backyard or your front yard, then they're going to do so. That's government property. Uh, there are some people who can own lands. Also, the land, just remember, even if it's yours, you have those rights. If you are unable to pay the property taxes assessed on the land, then it's going to be taken away from you. So that ownership is dependent upon whether you are able to continue making the payments on the property taxes. Now back to the house. So you're finished paying after 15 or 30 years. The house is now yours, but it's still not yours because now you are now back to renting. Like I said, you have to continue paying the property taxes. So, if you are unable to pay the property taxes even after you are done paying for the house or the mortgage, the government is going to take the house from you. So, I know some people always say uh, houses are good investments. You can leave them to your kids. Good. Not a, big, not, not a problem. But you have to remember that. If you leave, let's say you leave a million dollar house to your kids, which you're still paying property taxes on, I want you guys to go and search uh, the property taxes. Uh, just go online and uh, whatever state you live in and say, let's say for, uh, property taxes on a 400,000 house in Texas or Washington state or whatever city you live in and see how much that is. That's the rent you're going to be paying. So, you live a uh, 400,000 house uh, that's worth that much in value or a million dollar house to your kids. Good thing. But remember, if your kids are unable to pay the property taxes on that house, guess what? They're going to lose that house. So, and it happens a lot. And also, the kids might sell that house. So, it happens a lot. Mm, wealthy parents, they leave their kids' houses as inheritance, and the kids are unable to keep up with the property taxes, and they lose that house. So, owning a house in America is a facade. It's an illusion. You're going to be making circles, trying to to own something you can't really own. There's also a lot of things that go into home ownership. Depending on the city you live in, there's going to be a lot of controls. Uh, how high your fence is supposed to be, how high your grass is supposed to be, uh, the color you should paint your house, what you can do in your backyard, whether you can dig or not. So all those laws are in place, meaning you don't really get to own a house or land in America. Uh, in cases of uh, there are some lands uh, that people have true ownership, and uh, that uh, happens with Native Americans, and that's a story for another day, but... You can't really own a house in America. I know there are so many people who would argue against this, but that is the truth. Owning something means you own it. You don't owe anybody anything. So, most people from Africa are the ones who have true ownership. Where they own the land, it's theirs. They don't or any property taxes. They don't pay anything. They can do anything they please in their property. So, you do not own a house or land in America. You just have the rights to 